Right, we are hearing about the fallout from that fiery town meeting over in Derry last night. In a close vote, counselors cut the budget and some residents were escorted out of the meeting by police. As Gene Mackin explains, people are still questioning, though, what the cuts will mean. People are standing firm on both sides of the budget cut controversy here in Derry. One town councilor saying public safety will be at risk. Another saying it wasn't a popular vote, but the right one. What we all witnessed was a hack job. It was a complete slash and burn. It was not going to be easy, but doing the right thing very rarely is. Derry town councilors are still at odds over Tuesday's four to three budget cutting vote that had people pointing fingers. We are the public, we are the people. The dust has barely settled on the cuts to the 2016 budget. Two DPW jobs, the human resources director, overtime budgets for police and fire, along with four police positions, four fire positions, and the closure of one of Derry's four fire stations. A sign is posted outside Station 4 on Hampstead Road reading, Don't let the council close this fire station. Councilors voting for cuts say some positions are unfilled now and will remain that way, saving close to a million dollars and lowering the tax rate. Those against cuts say safety is at risk. It's really unfortunate uh, to put essentially people's lives at, at stake for the sense of uh, to just to cut taxes. We live in this town and we care about its residents. And you know what? We're not going to make decisions that put people in jeopardy. Impacts me, it impacts my neighbors. Chris Black says he just moved into his dairy home seven months ago. Part of the decision was based on the proximity of the fire station. Our insurance company gives us a discount because we had a fire station so close. Town councilors say the public will have a chance to talk about anything they want, including the budget cuts at the next meeting in June, but it won't change the vote. In Derry, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.